Uh, managed to watch one episode of Rhythm and Flow yesterday. I'm hoping I can get at least one more in today. Good work, everyone. Huh? Oh, it's you. Seems like you finished your trial without incident. Police and Tower. Uh, what are you two doing here? Where's Professor Sh Schmidt? Uh, oh, he already went back to the research building to compile his data. I'm here for what you promised me, Reen. You haven't forgotten, have you? Of course not. I told you we'd have lunch together, and that's what we'll do. Well, it's already lunchtime? It's easy to lose track of time down there. Sorry the trial was so hard this time. It was actually kind of easy. Uh, now that I think of it, my stomach feels empty. Something smells heavenly. Elise, did you perhaps... Yes, in fact, I had Tawa and Tita help me prepare some boxed lunches. But we all have a picnic together, everyone. Great. You can distract me from Elise. Man, it's already five o'clock. I need more time. This is amazing. Agreed, it's so colorful, it's quite pleasing to the eye. It's all just so tasty. It's like my stress is being blown away. I'm glad you enjoy it so much. It has nothing on Sharon's cooking, though. Three of us worked hard, uh, really hard making them. I only helped with the prep work in the morning. But we made one for the professor, too. What should we do about his? We can uh, just get it to him later. I'm sure he'll eat it between his experiments. Oh man, this fried chicken is so crispy on the outside and nice and juicy on the inside. It's incredible. The omelet is really pretty too. Oh, and it's got this unique flavor I can't quite place. We used some soup stock to flavor it. The recipe for it is from the East. I got it from a friend of our family. If you like it, or if you like, I can teach it to you. For real? I'm always up for expanding my cooking arsenal. High level girl conversation detected. We'd best not fall behind. Someday I, should, I shall create a beautiful lunch brimming with love for Instructor Reed. Queen? You not like it, perhaps? Oh no, it's amazing. Just made me feel a little nostalgic, like I was back home with mom and dad for a moment. Well, of course, I used Schwarzer family seasonings after all. Please eat to your hearts and stomachs content. Well, if you say so, how can I refuse? Totally in their own little world. Seems Elise will be the biggest obstacle I must overcome. Fish isn't too bad either. You were looking at me like that in the keep, too. You got something to say. Spit it out already. No. Watching you and Instructor Reen earlier made me feel uneasy. But I'm not getting that feeling anymore. Mean. I guess he really has changed, at least a little. It's nice I don't have to worry so much about him losing control of his power. But he still takes on more work than he should. So he'll probably need as much help as you and the others can give him. Understood. Not bad. Taste of a home me homemade meal. I suppose it's been a while. What's the matter? You miss your mama's cooking? Family's in Heimdallar, right? Uh, why not just visit whenever you want? Being on my own is another kind of training. I can't keep relying on them all the time. Surely you, too, missed the taste of home after being away for three months. Yeah, I guess. Mom's cooking was kind of crappy, but I guess I miss not having it. Anyway, this ain't gonna be enough to fill me up. Uh, well, look what I found. Some extra sandwiches. No, you don't. Jeez, I can't let my guard down for a second, or around you for a second. We have plenty of extras, so please eat as much as you like. 
Nice, let me add him. Save some for the rest of us. Well, the achievement is a plus 15 timed for every mythic dungeon. All 10 of them. Oh my god. You're still going for those achievements, Dante? Crazy, man. Afterwards, they cleaned up their picnic and each of them went their own way. After paying a visit to Professor Schmidt, Green walked George to the station where his train uh, back to Ruhr was waiting. I thought you got I thought you got all the ones that you were looking for except for the PvP one. Take care, George. Sorry I couldn't give you a better reception. <laughs> Nonsense. Well, not only did you treat me to lunch, I got to meet the members of the new class seven. I'll let you know if I can dig up anything about the black workshop. I mentioned it to the professor too, so he might have some info for you eventually. Oh my back. Thanks a million. That man reverse engineered the Divine Knights to make Panzer Soldats. There's no way he doesn't have some connection to the workshop. But even if he does know something, there's no guarantee he'll, uh, he'd tell us. Yeah, it's kind of worrying. The professor is side, you've got a rough road ahead of you. But I know you'll be able to overcome everything that comes your way, Reen. You too, of course, Toa. Toa. Right. So, will you be joining the Institute of Technology as soon as you get back to Ruhr? Yeah, but that's not all I'll be doing. I plan to reach out to our classmates from Thor's. Well, except Angie, anyway. She's touring the continent on her motorcycle now, isn't she? She sure likes to live on the wild side. I'm sure Angie uh, will be back before we know it. When she's around again, the three of us should get together. For sure. For sure. Well, I gotta get going now. I'll see you next time, Elise. You too, Celine. Yeah, certainly. Make sure you don't eat too many sweets. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right, later, guys. Nice seeing you again, George. I missed him already. He's still in Erebonia, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of chances to see him again. Until then, let's work just as hard as he is. Yeah, can do. Elise, Celine, uh, you two can take this afternoon to relax. I believe I will. You two need to attend that briefing or whatever it was, right? Well, try not to fall asleep. You gonna get your mythic Queen Ashara kill too? Ooh. And you have all all the rank threes, even the PvP one now. You're going for rank four now. Oh my goodness. Man, it's hard at work at getting all the achievements. Hamilton was too busy and declined. Hmm, I wonder what he's up to. I already made the prediction that Hamilton, as soon as they mentioned Hamilton, I made the prediction that he's the one that's working uh, with Ouroboros. But uh, we'll see. As you can see from the handout, the lo next location for our field exercises will be Western La Mer. The nearest city will be the port city Ortis. That said, we will be farther from civilization this time than prior exercises. In addition, our designated area this time will extend as far west as Raquel. I see. From Raquel to Ortis, eh? I'm no stranger to either of those places. It's gonna be a really wide range this time. And we'll be near my former palace. Your palace? Oh, you mean Juno Naval Fortress, right? That was the Noble Alliance's headquarters during the Civil War, right? That's correct. When the war ended, I found myself there with Wallace and 50,000 soldiers. I considered making a last stand there, but news of the Northern War reached me. I did some negotiating, and that's how I became the lapdog of the government. Is that really something you should just blurt out like that? 
Principal Le Guin, you may wish to keep your commentary to yourself. You all may already be aware, but there is a reason this was decided upon as the location. All of the high-ranking nobles will be gathered there for a conference. The Imperial Provincial Council, right? I heard it was going to be held in Ordis this year. Will you be attending too, Principal Le Guin? Uh, up to two years ago, I had regularly uh, attended the conference as the Countess Le Guin. However, I've, I've since pulled away from political front lines, so I don't plan to attend this year. Man, when is she ever going to come with us? You and the students will have to bring honor to our school without my or the professor's help. Judging from last time, I suspect we'll have another incident. Seems likely the society will make another move. Hard to say if they'll just be running another one of their experiments or what. Either way, we should be uh, even more prepared than usual, especially with the gnomes in the picture too. Looks, uh, looks like it's not just our students who have gotten all fired up. You all got a good mindset. This, sh uh, this should help us get a leg up on the main campus. <clears throat> really? Get a leg up? Principal Le Guin, that's... Oh, have you not heard? The main campus will be holding its own field exercises starting next month. What? Not just the branch campus? The Crown Prince has decreed that the main campus shall also assist with the Empire's crisis. Though they'll, be, though they'll be in a different location from us, they will depart on the same day. See, but where could they possibly be headed? Much bigger than us. Are they going to use a special train to get there too? One word from the prince's mouth and bam, that's a tyrannical empire for you. First, this is confidential information. Second, we're getting off track. Again, we will hold our field exercises in the lair. Uh, we will depart Friday night, and the duration will be four days. Four days! I expect each of you to have the planning documents memorized by tomorrow. Four days! It was two days of craziness in a uh, crossbell. What is gonna happen for four days? Oh my goodness! It's gonna get crazy. Ordis, huh? I saw this coming on account of the conference being held there. But now that I know, uh, know for sure, I should get in contact with Eusis. He should have been in attendance at last year's conference, too. I should head back to the dorms now, though. Elise is waiting. I think I remember overhearing Principal Le Guin saying something earlier. I wonder if she needs help. Eh. Oh, somebody wants to do battle. You done messed up, fool. Thought you could just bring up the sign that you play the game. I'm about to take the game from you. I got a new card in my collection. Yep, yep. Hey, I don't care. I just want to play some, uh, some Vantage Masters. Oh, he's got a knight. Let's get started. Okay, two blicks. I'm going first. I think I can get rid of... actually... We'll probably want to keep them. It's not a half bad start. Uh, that costs two mana.
Okay, he's doing what I was hoping he would. Ooh. Not gonna be too helpful for me, though. Okay. Have a plan here. A wonderful plan it is. Can't do anything. Uh, I don't lose anything for for attacking that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, bum the bum. Crazy OP. Go and protect myself from a little bit of damage. And work on killing him. Interesting. Yeah. How problematic. By with that victory right there. Well, not squeak by. Oh, but man, I lost. Managed to to nab that sooner than than expected. Uh, got an Ooville, whatever that is. See, it's a six five for six attack plus one for each enemy this card defeats. Uh, that's not not uh not very useful for me right now. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's see. So I only need uh, a few more cards, and we almost got them all. Also, good body. Ooh. Go to the rooftop. Your hero is basically mini pot of greed, and that's all that matters. Man, he is, uh, that hero is incredible. Just drawing card, drawing a card for two mana is insanity. Absolutely in Thing. 
So, yeah. He is a mini pot of greed. <clears throat> Just, it feels so OP. Alright, I have I have two bonding points. So, Ash, uh, Home Chick Slice, ooh, Tower. I don't really care about Altina anymore. But at the same time, can I see, like, my bonding relationships? <clears throat> I feel like the bonding relationships are different than Link level. Which is, I guess, strange. Um... There must be a way. Notebook. Characters. Is this all of hers? Ah, if there's a star next to it, I guess you get all of their stuff. Interesting. one with Yuna. Doesn't seem like uh, where I get that information, though. Seems kind of silly in it itself. Hmm. How will I decide? want to buy from you. Here's a show and I'll get you what you need. Hope to see you again. All right there. Mini wrench. Oh yeah, I bought four of those. I forgot about that. Wow, speed minus five? Are you kidding me? you later. Um. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to... Oh, he's actually in the club building. Let's go ahead and do this one, and then uh, I can figure out if... Ta uh, well... Hmm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, I don't know. Hey, Ash. Is the Literature Club still in session? Ah, it's over. Tatiana went home, too. Even if I went back, I'd get bored, so I'm just reading some books. Got a lot of books. I'm sure you're tired from the keep, so don't stay too late. Yeah, yeah. Don't get in the way of my reading. Seems a little good. Okay. Ash, is it okay if I... Or, if it's okay with you, can I read some of those books? Didn't I just say not to bother me? I don't need to sit right next to you. You finished some of these, right? I'm just curious about what kind of books you like to read. Uh, but only if it's okay with you. Fine. Uh, those are the ones I'm done with. Help yourself. Alright, thanks. A oh, weirdo. Green is such a weirdo. Those are some tough reads, but I really got into them. Ash, uh, you really read a wide variety of books, don't you? Literature, mystery novels, I'm in spy collection of poems over there. Well, I'll read any book I see. I don't know if, I, uh, if I'll like a book until I, re or I read it, uh, even if it's boring, I'm sure I'll gain something out of it. And this one's done, too. It was decent. Red, or you read really fast. Never would have guessed you read this much. Just a habit of mine. I always read a lot of books. 
He wasn't educated, so whoever she got, or so whenever she got any books, she'd bring them to me with this huge grin on her face. I always thought uh, she should read a recipe book to improve her cooking. Are you talking about your mother? You don't usually talk about your family. No big deal. And I said don't bother me, so stop talking to me like that. I'd like to talk to him more, but... Found. No, these lyrics destroy the melody. You have to, like, feel the burning soul of rock. You do know that you aren't really helping at all, right? This isn't good. We need to decide on the lyrics. Hey, you guys. Keep it down. I'm trying to read here. Ash. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, uh, bear with us just a wee bit longer. We're discussing what the lyrics should be. Lyrics? Ash, don't... Give me that. Hey, don't mess, a, uh, mess with our lyrics. Wait a minute. There, now they're good. Dog, stop barking. Did you... Oh, now this is burning rock. These lyrics are brilliant. You just changed a small part of the phrase and it completely changes the feeling. Guess you're not in the literature club for nothing. Thanks, Ash. Yeah, yeah. I'll go play somewhere else. I'm really surprised. I didn't expect he'd help us. Isn't he your roommate, Gustav? Yeah, he's always backing people or backing other people up, even during combat tactics class. He may not seem very friendly, but he's actually really reliable. I see. I knew he was skilled from the classes and field exercises, but despite how he acts, he seems to like helping out. Instructor Reen, please take care of Ash. For all of us in combat tactics. Don't worry, leave it to me. Sing blah blah blah. Why are you smirking like that? Am I smirking? Again, welcome to Class 7, Ash. What are you talking about? So the two of them enjoyed reading in peace. That was nice. Alright. Tawa or Altina? That is the question. Tawa or Altina? Let's see, we got a side quest to do. As a matter of fact, I did forget something. I should go into the hangar. Double check. You know, shenanigans are going on here. Wow, you're manning the booth? Professor Schmidt! Rare to see you behind the counter like this. There were some tools I needed to retrieve for my work. But the second I came back here, that uh, blasted niece of Makarov's uh, took it as an invitation to take off. Ah, she forced workshop duty on Professor Schmidt? Someone's got a death wish. Oh yeah! Why do I have to? Uh, I hm. wanted... Don't... Why do I have to? Wanted to do, uh, do all the court stuff. Alright. Hm. Don't come back. Oh, but I can't do it here. Alright. New plan. We're gonna go in here, and we're gonna go to a uh, shop thingy that... That, uh... That whatchamacallits. Uh, hopefully I can still teleport to the end. Do this from a one-stop shop. Okay, so what I'm looking for here, uh, Suzaku is really, really good. Let me write all these down. All right, so I need a seal three and a burn three. 
Um, I don't really care about the bells too much. I'm not really focusing on that kind of stuff at the moment. Speed and movement. This one. This one definitely. I need like eight of these. Alright, so Fortuna SR. Shining SR. And Seraphic Ring SR. That one's gonna be very expensive. Oh, and then this one, I need two. Sword Breaker 3. And Shield Breaker 3. Okay. Alright, so none of those are those. Okay, so. a rule cannon. Have to check that out. Uh, where's... Ooh. Evade 3. 16%. Ooh-wee. I'm gonna have to get one of those. Alrighty. I'm gonna have to craft all these. This is... It's probably gonna be too expensive. Yeah, that's 600. I'm going to need real... No, I'm going to need... I need a lot. Actually, no, I only need one of one of each. So I need... Uh, I've already got one of these. Dang. I thought it would have mattered. I do need three of those. It is going to be way too expensive. Got to be a better way to go about it. Except there isn't. Field breaker. Don't have any of those. Sword breaker. Don't have any of those. Hold on a second. Field breaker two. Man, I am just hurting. All right. Well, uh, eventually, I will get there, and I will get that. Let's see. I still need to choose between Tala. If I could just see their whatchamacallits. Um, whatever, I'll just choose Altina. Just easier that way. Oh my goodness, there's actually something on there. There, all that is left is the coloring. Oh, are you painting? Is this for art class? The principal assigned us an art-related task. She said the theme could be anything, yet she will not give me a passing grade no matter how many I submit. I remain the last one in the class who has not yet completed the task. Oh, is it really that difficult of an assignment? When I think of my next impending failure, my heart feels heavy. 
today is the final deadline for the task, so I must keep painting. Uh, that sounds really boring. Moving on. Tower it is. We could have at least made it interesting. We'll close that, because we're nowhere near synthesizing any of that stuff. Alright, where are you at, Tower? radio station. This one will probably be entertaining. Now, oh, you were here at the radio station. Monk asked, uh, asked me to appear on his radio show. See, this one's going to be entertaining. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Uh, it's called The Dawn of the Working Woman. It's a show that focuses on women working in the many different industries. It's one of the most popular shows. Our first episode featured Major Claire when she first became a captain. Oh, Major Claire made a guest appearance, and now you're going to be on it, Tower. I declined at first, but he was really persistent. I'm getting a little nervous. I hope I don't fumble my words. Miss Herschel, you'll be just fine. Let's make this a great show. Let's do it. Monk, is there anything I can do to help? Uh, I'd like to witness her moment in the spotlight. Hey, Reen. But I guess having you uh, here will be a little reassuring. I could always use a helping hand around here. Uh, we have a, a few moments before it's time to start. Mind if I explain the equipment to you for a bit? Yeah, that'd be great. Look at that, we're now a radio assistant. All right, we're starting in three, two. No, we're not in the booth? Come on. Welcome to the dawn of the working woman. Today we have a guest from Thor's recently established branch campus in Leeds. Hello, my name is Tala Herschel. I'm, uh, I'm the homeroom instructor of the branch campus's class nine, military finance. I'm a little nervous, but I'm happy to be talking to you today. Thank you, Ms. Herschel. We'd like to start off by sharing a few things about Instructor Herschel. She's doing pretty well, considering how nervous she was. She said, like, three sentences, man. I guess she's done a few magazine interviews before. There's probably nothing to worry about. While still a student, Instructor Herschel was appointed to a very important role during the Civil War two years ago. He was the acting captain of the Crimson Wings aboard the cruiser. Courageous. Uh, bringing hope to many people during the war. Yeah. Reen should have been the captain. Make it sound more impressive than it was. There were many extenuating circumstances, and many of my fellow students helped me get through that situation. You don't have to be so humble. Uh, yeah, sit down. Uh, I heard you, uh, I heard you were highly commended. Uh, and that many, uh, many places contacted you after you graduated. Not to mention, as the student council president, you were highly regarded by many of your fellow students. You were an immense help during the terrorist acts in the capital, and you were chosen to attend the trade conference in Crossbell. I'm sure all of your fe fellow students couldn't be prouder of you. Monk, I don't remember this being in the script. Well, these are all facts. I'm sure Reen would agree. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, but I'm not that big a deal. I was only able to accomplish all of those things you listed because of everyone who helped me. My fellow students, my instructors, uh, my fellow classmates who I made a bike with at one time. And in my last year, the underclassmen of class 7. <clears throat> Tower. Which is why I want to do my best at the branch campus. We instructors work together to support our students. I see, that's a wonderful aspiration. Uh, we here at Radio Trista would like to continue to support Thor's branch campus. Alright, see? That was nice. Good work, Tower. Yeah, thank you. Monk got me all riled up and I feel like he exaggerated some details. Uh, that was broadcast across the entire empire, right? 
It's fine. I think you did wonderfully. And the way you described uh, what we're doing here really touched me. This is embarrassing. I said it on the radio, but let's work together. All of the instructors for all of for, for the students. Yes, of course. Ooh, I'm glad I did Tawa. I didn't realize that, uh, well, I would have checked. But, uh, nice. Gonna get five stars with Tower. Hmm. Sydney, I've already bodied you. Stark, I've already bodied you, too. So many people that need to get bodied. But not enough time. Go ahead and save real quick. I don't know what the side quest is, but I don't trust it. I want to get something nicer, but... Tita, why do you seem so distraught? Oh, Instructor Reen, hello. I'm trying to choose gifts to send to my friends back home. It seems like lately... I've uh, just been sending them popular things without putting much thought into it. Oh, a gift, huh? I can relate. I've been sending more, uh, more things recent, recently, too. It's hard to find fresh new things that would make them happy. <clears throat> yes, that's exactly right. The more you know someone, the harder it is to choose something for them. Dr. Reen, will you help me choose some gifts? I think it'd be good, uh, good to get a fresh person. Uh, I don't think that per perspectives, I think is what it said. Supposed to be perspective. I think it's in a typo. Uh, me. I'll help you out. Thank you. Do you have any candidates? Uh, well, I've chosen a store for each person. I forgot to mention, but I'm buying gifts for three people. Okay, no problem. All right, then we should go to the stores. Thanks again. Can we start with Neil Suya? Rick Travel is temporarily disabled. You soccer fool. Now that I or now that I have a look around, they have a lot of things here. What kind of person are you getting this, these gifts for? It's for a girl who's a year younger than me. She has purple hair and always wears a ribbon. Uh she, uh, she can be a little aloof at times, but she also likes to tease people. It almost sounds a bit like Musée, or Moose. Uh, they might look and act completely different, but now that you mention it, they are sort of similar in a way. Maybe that's why you got along so well with Musée, then. Uh, my friend loves cute things, so I usually go to boutiques to get her gift or get gifts for her. But since she's 15 now, I thought it might be good to get her something more mature. That's why I decided to come here. I'd love to hear any recommendations you have. Sure thing, let me think. Let me kind of select choose gift to choose a gift. Oh boy. What do you got, old man? Buy more of those. Well, I'm running out of money. Come on. All right, we back. You need something? Yes, I'm looking for a gift today. Dr. Reen, did you find anything? The gift for a girl who's one year younger. Sort of like you say. Bought some Eastern tea. Bought some Eastern tea. Eastern tea, that's a great idea. She likes black tea, so I'm sure she'll love this. I'm glad to hear that. Can I get one of these? Absolutely. Alright, let's head to Carnegie Books and Games. Let's get going. Well, it's a good thing I spent as much time as I have with Musée because... Um, she likes tea. This place not only sells books, but toys, too. What kind of person are you getting a gift for next? She's in her early 20s, and she's pretty athletic, not to mention super energetic. She's really good with the staff, 
and her hobbies are fishing and collecting sneakers. Uh, sounds like she's pretty active. Woman from Liberal who fights with a staff. Really, is, is she talking about Estelle? Couldn't be her, could it? Instructor Reem. Oh, sorry. I think I've got a pretty good idea of what you have in mind, Tita. Because this person's so active, you think getting her a book might be a good change of pace. That's exactly right. Something? Yes, I'm looking for a gift today. The green, did you find anything nice? One in her 20s, athletic and energetic. Like sneakers. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the scenery of er Erebonia? This one's, um... Hmm. She's not gonna have anybody to play Banjo and Masters with, so we're gonna go with scenery of Erebonia. A lot of picture of lakes and flowers, so it might be a good match considering her hobbies. Right, she likes going for walks, so I think that's perfect. And she has been trying to visit the Empire. Anyway, I think it's the perfect gift for her. That was definitely Estelle. Uh, glad to hear it. Can I have one of these? Of course, thanks for coming. To Lapin Boutique. I think that plugged in. Lapin Boutique. This store is really stylish. Uh oh. Oh, Lisa's here with Yuna and the others. Might be good to get their opinions. Might be good to ask them too. My last gift is for a man in his 20s. Oh, and I don't mean Agate. This person is always so calm and composed. See, same age as the woman from earlier. I wonder if... Alright, I'll look around. Calm and composed. Uh, no. Uh, no elegant young maiden can resist the call of a beautiful lace. Oh, wow, these look pretty fancy. Elegant young maiden, huh? Hi, these are elaborate. Uh, from a price and design perspective, I think I prefer, prefer more simple clothing, though. What are you talking about? It's like everyone's helping Elise with their shopping. Excuse us. Green and Tita. To our shopping together. Interesting. Don't tell me. Are you two? Nope. <laughs> um, Instructor Reen is helping me choose a gift. Gift? Oh, for Agate? No, it's not like that. I want to buy something for a friend. It's helped me out a lot over the years. Oh, now I understand. You know who she's talking about. Well, I've heard a few stories here and there. Well, that should make things easy. Uh, would you girls mind giving us some advice on what we should buy? We need something for a calm and composed man in his 20s. It's the one I'm thinking of. He's more like Kurt uh, than he is Instructor Reen. Also, I hear this man has a lover, yes? Someone as bright as the sun who brings happiness to everyone around her. That's right. That's the young woman I was talking about earlier. Is that so? Uh, that sound, uh, uh, that supposed to be sounds like a, quite the couple? Uh, no kidding. In fact, I think they might be the perfect couple. Yes, I admit I'm a little curious to meet them now. In any event, Ring. We should keep that in mind when choosing a gift. Good point. Thank you, everyone. That was really helpful. Can you tell me again? Uh, the little small sign. What do you prefer? Blah, blah, blah. Consideration. A 
Ideally, they should look nice with pretty much anything. I also take age in consideration. Okay, so you're not gonna tell me again. All right. Hope I go for three for three. Oh, red hair. Blonde hair with Altina? That could look kind of strange. Ooh, some new boots. Not the craziest upgrade in the world. Right, looking for a gift. And in his 20s, a bit like Kurt. I don't remember, I don't remember who, oh, Kurt, Kurt, our, our member of class seven. He's in a relationship. Relationship. Silver necklace? We'll go with that. Really cool. A necklace won't give the wrong impression, right? I mean, it's not like a ring or anything. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll look good on him. Yeah, there, there was something else. Oh well. Two for three is good. Thank you for today. Every item was wonderful, interesting, and somewhere perfectly suited to their recipients. I uh, wouldn't have gone half as well if I had to do it alone. Today's success is all thanks to you, Instructor Reen. Happy to hear it. Please take this as a token of gratitude. Hey! Quartz, did you synthesize this? Yes, I, I chose one I thought suited you best, Instructor Reen. Oh, that's horrible. I don't cast spells, I hit things with my sword. Oh, I nearly forgot. I was gonna go to the bookstore to buy a card for each of the presents. Well then, you better go take care of that now. But take care not to get too flustered uh, and trip on the way there. I'll be careful. I'll be off then. Now get the steppin'. Alright, my... I did okay. Probably could have got two AP if I did it right. But oh well. Alright. Let them know I'm ready to take a stand. I'm ready to take a stand. <laughs> 